Hello everyone, my name is Bobic and I will talk about transaction path prescri prescriptive uh, marketing and uh, diverse uh, uh, prescriptive analytics and mutual information entropy uh, hyperclustering method can be used to find the optimum set of uh, marketing uh, uh, prescriptions and uh, in order to ident identify trends and hidden patterns and to find the best course of action to promote uh, the target product or services uh, in downstream marketing or to modify the product and services to meet the uh, customer or client's demand as in upstream uh, marketing. Now, um, uh, big data analytic, uh, analytic tools and artificial intelligence uh, can be used uh, to find uh, to, or to predict the client clientele base, uh, base and uh, their clients. That is, um, uh, we can use big data analytics to figure out uh, different layers of um, uh, clientele hierarchy and to um, uh, estimate your transaction path between uh, the clients and the target business and between the clients and clients clients and so forth and we can identify financial uh, transaction op transaction obstacles between potential clients and target business uh, or and the, the obstacles uh, between uh, potential clients and potential clients clients and um, once we identify these financial uh, transaction obstacles we can find the best course of action again by big data analytics and artificial intelligence best course of action in having a role in resolving the the obstacles we can identify the optimum set of in influencing factors to tackle which will resolve this these obstacles or at least try to resolve them and to also generate micro-induced demand for products and services in the transaction path. And um, under, in the, uh, such that, such, such that it, uh, it will generate, generate the, the greatest impact on the target uh, uh, business uh, product and services. Now, if businesses perform um, influencing on transaction paths that that involves itself, uh, its client, and its uh, client's client. And if businesses uh, simultaneously employ um, diverse uh, prescriptive analytics um, uh, in order to perform uh, uh, long-term uh, marketing, uh, the, their, the accuracy of their long-term marketing uh, prediction would improve. Basically, um, the unexpected shift in long-term um, uh, future prescriptive analytics is compensated by uh, business path influencing and steering. Uh, now, if uh, well, many times uh, uh, the uh, the immediate uh, client is the end consumer. So if that's the case, if one of the immediate client is the end con consumer, the focus should be on uh, downstream uh, marketing. Uh, that is all of the benefits, that is all the revenue gener uh, generating benefits um, uh, that the product or service could have uh, for the client should be, should be mentioned to the client, the client which is the, the um, uh, in consumer, not just the functional aspect, and even this task requires uh, big data access and uh, edge computing. So, in in conclusion, uh, uh, prescriptive uh, marketing, which uses uh, uh, diverse uh, prescriptive analytics and uh, mutual information hybrid clustering to find um, uh, to find the optimum set of uh, marketing prescription and uh, to identify trends and hidden patterns and uh, is compensated by uh, transaction path influencing um, in that um, all of the obstacles um, 
all the transaction paths are modeled by uh, big data and artificial intelligence and, and the obstacles, um, uh, at least the business could have a role in resolving the obstacles by, by um, uh, um, identif identifying the optimal set of influencing factors to resolve those obstacles. And um, this way, um, uh, 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 the businesses can handle the sudden shift in, in spite of their uh, long-term um, uh, prescriptive um, uh, marketing uh, analytics, and they can compensate for this unexpected, unexpected shift in, in, in um, their um, analysis by performing this uh, business path influencing and steering. Uh, thank you for listening to my presentation and I hope you enjoyed it.